I'd like to thank the American Library Association and Booklist. Uh, I'm deeply honoured to be a finalist for the first ever Andrew Carnegie um, Medal for Excellence in Fiction. Um, and above all, I'm delighted that you like the book. I come from three generations of incredibly busy library users. My granny was handed Ulysses from under the counter in Fibsborough Library because it was up to the librarian to decide who was uh, ready for reading James Joyce. My uh, mother brought me down to the library every week of my life and I was allowed to skive off after school into the most wonderful Carnegie Library in Rathmines and I ate every book on the children's section there. My sister is now a librarian. She's worked in Kilkenny and London and Somaliland. So I'm a big believer in the system and it's to me a, a great, great honour to uh, be acknowledged in this way. The Forgotten Waltz is a book about adultery and a daughter. It's set in the boom and bust uh, of recent times and Western world that hit Ireland particularly hard. It's a book about love, all different kinds of love, romantic love, infatuation, passionate love, illicit love. It ends, I think, with something that might almost be called real love. Gina, who is the narrator, is someone either you like or you don't. But I hope that you enjoy not liking her. Um, I spent a lot of time meeting readers in the last few years um, and it was the only thing that made sense to me. The critics didn't make sense, the journalists didn't make sense, but the reader I discovered was my friend. And I wanted to give my friend, the reader, something to argue about. Something that would annoy her, mostly, and him, um, and be a cause for dissent and great, I hope, pleasure. Thank you very much.